Welcome back to Mare Dragon Tricks. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, okay, for this video, I'm going to show you how you can basically bubble everything in camp. There is three ways to bubble. So there is the simple way of bubbling if you have any of the item that's mergeable that you have more than three of. Basically, you'll be able to bubble up to two items left if you do not have a second method of bubbling which is you require a 4x4 four four item like the apple over here or if you have the rug chain the level 9 and 10 will be a 4x4 four four item that is mergeable and also on the mountain ones you will have um, the higher up levels for the hills which are these ones over here. Those ones will be mergeable and are four by four. So all of those you'll be able to use to bubble everything you have in camp. So the simplest way that you actually can bubble items that's more than two spaces, such as our level four treasure chest here, is basically just move things over so that there's no two spaces in your camp anymore. Then it will naturally bubble itself. It's really quite simple as that. So if you have a really big chest like this one over here, this is a four by four chest, which takes four by four spaces like the apple. So let me just show you. So with the apple, simply move it over. You'll bubble the apple because there's no other spaces. Same as the chest, you move it over and it will go ahead and bubble that. Let me just leave that aside. This is a great for your camp and chill tapping event because it gives you over 15,000 points. And another simple way, if you do not have the app just yet, is say these chests over here are mergeable. And you can see, you can pretend to merge them so it looks like there's only two grid. And then once you're holding that, hit the world map. And then you'll go onto the world map. Essentially, the game will read as there's not enough spaces, there's only two spaces. So they will essentially go ahead and bubble that one we had tried to merge. So let's go back in and check it out. As you can see over here, that particular chest is bubbled right now. Okay, and our third way of bubbling, and we'll just leave that there so it fills in the spaces, is essentially you need to fill all your camp with whatever you're working on is fine, really. Anything that the dragon can essentially harvest. If you're working on coins, you can always get them to harvest fruit trees. But for the sake of this video, it's just easier if I just get them to harvest these obes quickly. So, oh, there we go. Now we'll stop moving. Okay, so as you can see, we've got two of these spaces left here. So once your camp is full, there's always going to be two spaces. So now we're going to go ahead and pre pretend to merge our apples so that I can go ahead and bubble my fruit trees and also the stars and save it for later. So what you can do is, depending on where your dragons are harvesting, I would like to usually move the spaces closer to them. Let me just see if I can move those over so that they don't go all the way to where the empty spaces is but stick around to as near as possible so again I'm gonna like before the three items pretend to bubble our four square items in this case our apples so they are gonna go ahead and fill in the spaces that's left and as you can see there's two spaces left now in the spaces that was left over there and because there's two spaces essentially now we're able to go and put out apple over where our trees are and essentially bubble those because instead of actually being two spaces we actually need four spaces because of course we're not actually bubbling the big apples so put them out of the way so you might want to do that so your dragons don't harvest stuff you don't want to so if you bubble everything in your camp that's actually harvestable then your dragon won't be distracted and you can work on whatever you want and you'll have a lot more spaces and your dragons won't just drop whatever you don't want or need everywhere okay so we'll do that again Instead of holding the apple and try and merge it from here, essentially all of the dragons will come over here and sometimes they're kind of slow depending on where the harvestable is. So what I like to do as a bit of a faster thing to do is move the apple under them, create the space. Now if I pretend to merge, essentially the dragon's already there. They'll just move over a little bit, drop the item, and I can go ahead and bubble it. It's really quite simple. Again, I would go over and create spaces under them and then go ahead and bubble it again. Let's say I want to save the nest for later. 
course, there is a tapping crest for tap the nest however many times down the track. So you might want to save us that just so that you see if I were just to try pretend to merge where we're at whatever spaces is, you can see the dragons will kind of move over. And depending on how far um, the stuff that you want bubble is, it could take them a while to get to it. So I usually like to line my stuff up in a line that way they will just move over a little bubble move over a little bubble move over a little bubble so it makes it quite easy and once you get a hang of it so you do need a tad of practice then you'll be able to bubble everything in your camp quite easily as you can see i've been a little bit lazy meant to be tapping these but just haven't gotten around to it i'm sure i will i'm just a matter of time anyway that is how you can bubble everything in your camp if you don't have a tree to actually get the 4x4 golden apples, then you'll be able to get it easily by doing one of the events. By finishing all of the goals in the events, you'll definitely be able to get a golden tree, in which case you can harvest the apples and be able to get the golden apples rather quickly. So you'll be able to get a level 3 tree, in which case your dragons will be able to harvest and get your apples. And you just merge them up to you get the level 3 apples, which is the huge apple that takes 4x4 four four spaces. So like I mentioned, you can always go and check out my uh, event tips to see how you can complete all of the crests for your event so that you'll be able to get yourself the golden apple tree if you don't have it because in order for you to get it from the water and the seeds, it really just takes forever <laughs> and really uh, for you to even get the water you'll be able you need to be quite further down on the world map to actually get that into your camp so the easiest way would be to actually complete a event complete the 10 quest in the event in order to get the golden apple tree so that you'll be able to go ahead and get your big apples and start bubbling everything in your camp and as you can see we've got an event coming up this weekend so if you're unable to finish all events within the weekend or within just the first day or so because then you'll be spending a whole weekend on it who wants to do that right go and check out my other video on how you can essentially finish any event within the 24 hours as well as check out how you can get yourself plenty of purple stars so you can also buy a chest and do a whole lot of other things my video will show you exactly how you can do that so check out the description for those must know secrets to get the most amount of fun out of the game I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, do make sure you like and subscribe more so you have more tips and tricks and you'll be able to get more out of the game. And I'll see you on the next video.